Hey YouTube, it is Sonia here with another garden update. Today is Sunday, May 4th. I'm not what I'm not sure what the temperature is. It um, probably is 70 ish degrees. I am in zone 6B and we are going to start with what I have on my deck. This weekend I've planted just about everything I plan to plant. Well, everything I bought so far. We'll see how that goes. I don't have much room, so we'll see if anything else gets planted. Uh, new are my fruit bushes. Here is a blackberry bush that I have in a pot for right now. I had a blackberry bush before. Well, I still have it. It's back by the fence, but the birds love it. So I'm gonna leave it back there for them. I've covered these up with netting. So hopefully that will work and I will get some blueberries. So I have a blueberry bush and I also have, I'm sorry, a blackberry bush. And then here is a blueberry bush. This is my first ever blueberry bush. So I'm excited to have those. Both of those are covered. Uh, we'll start over here with um, some microgreens that I planted at the end of last month and they're popping up already, so that's good. My Swiss chard is doing well. I have all of these greens covered with these strainers that I got from the dollar store. Uh, because we have squirrels, rabbits, birds, and they love to get up here and dig. So they're doing really well right now. There's another Swiss chard. And here is spearmint. I love spearmint more than just mint. So I usually buy spearmint, although I do love chocolate mint, and I have one of those as well. I threw some cilantro in there. Nothing has come up yet. I am wondering if my cilantro seeds are still good. I did buy a new pack, so we'll see if anything germinates from the old pack that I had. And here is my lavender. It hasn't grown very much yet. Back here are more greens. I'm not sure what's in this pot. I do know it's a duplicate of something in another pot because the ones that I didn't label means that it was a duplicate and I'm not sure what that is. So I threw some flowers in and brought some plants in from the house. This is a coffee plant. <clears throat> and here is another pot of greens. These are black seeded Simpson. I have a pot of these here and I have another pot there. This is salad bowl and I'm thinking the seeds may be bad. I need to check the dates. I planted these on April 11th and nothing has come up. And then here is butter crunch. So that's all on this side. And we swing over here. And I have more Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard and it is beautiful, but it has been covered. I will take these covers off soon if I didn't mention already because everything is getting so big. Here is my kale. It's beautiful as well. And there's another Swiss chard. La Cinto kale is what that is. That's rainbow chard. Okay, now we will go down to the garden oh but first let me show you my collards that I have in these pots I'm not a huge fan of collards but <laughs> I will eat them if I grow them so walking over here I have a makeshift teepee with bird netting to try to keep the squirrels and birds out of my strawberries. I do have some strawberries growing in there. I don't know if you can see them, a few of them down there, but they're coming in nicely. So this I believe is chamomile. I was just 
talking with another YouTuber. Let's see. I think his YouTube channel is Old McWaller, I believe, about chamomile. And uh, how I tried to make tea out of it, and it tastes horrible. And I thought I'd dug it all up but this is chamomile it smells so good um but it, it was just horrible so i did some research and i think i was using the wrong part of the plant it says that you're supposed to use the flowers for tea and i don't think that's what i did so i pulled some of this up it does um it does get pretty big so i pulled some up and got rid of it but i left this little um, section here so maybe I'll try the tea again and over here I've planted some marigolds in my beds because I love them um, here I've planted some seeds just today I have Roma beans and then royal burgundy beans right next to it and then there is a holy basil that I just planted this weekend and then I have a Black Beauty eggplant with a couple of peppers. Here is a poblano pepper. And this is um, a cayenne pepper, I think. I think. And then there is a orange bell pepper. And here's a Japanese eggplant there. This is my Swiss chard that came back from last year. My onions that I have had forever. And then here is a uh, chocolate sunflower that I just planted. It's not happy, it, does, it just drooped when I took it out of the little container it came in. Um, but I watered it, so hopefully it will look better tomorrow. chives and here I have a Roma tomato and then in this bed over here I have a Cherokee purple tomato right there I just popped some cucumbers in yesterday and there is a Thai basil here is another Japanese eggplant and then the row back here are is a row of microgreens. This is my first year planting those, and I am looking forward to seeing what they do. After I planted these seeds, we had a lot of high winds, and I've noticed that I have little seedlings all through the garden, so we'll see what comes up. So over here we have a jalapeno pepper. I have quite a few of those because they are my favorite pepper to grow. And here we have a sweet banana pepper that I just popped in yesterday. Oh, and over in this garden, I have um, sugar snap peas. It's been really, really warm here. Um, so hopefully, it's supposed to cool down a little bit, so hopefully it'll give the, my peas a chance to grow and come in. Uh, over here is a red bell pepper. And here is um, red Russian kale, I believe. And then back there is one pop choy plant. And over here, I have my echinacea that's coming back in, my coneflower. So I'm excited to see it coming back. I have it covered because the squirrels like to eat it too, except when it's small. They like to nibble on it. And then back here, I have a row of spinach. And it looks like I also have some other things coming in that grew or that blew from someplace. So we'll see what pops up here. 
And then over in my last little bed, I have two tomatoes. Now I noticed that the labels are gone. So I know one of them is, oh, let me think. One of them is a Juliet and I'm not sure what the other one is, but I know they're both like little small tomatoes. Um, I have no idea of what I did with the label. Apparently I forgot to stick it in the ground though. I think one blew over, so I'll grab it. And then back here, some Swiss chard and there's also some spinach coming in up there my little marigolds along with sugar snap peas around the edges so over here i have rhubarb and it's growing leaves nicely this is my first time ever growing it i popped some cilantro seeds in here with it no signs of them it was from the old pack same as I planted on the deck. So, um, like I said, I did buy new cilantro seeds. And this is a yellow squash. And then back here, I have another jalapeno pepper and um, cayenne pepper here. Sorry about that. I've never grown in bins before. Got it from another YouTuber. So we will see how this goes. So now we'll go over to my little area on the side of my garage. So over here I have curly kale. It's coming in nicely. Um, they're all doing really well. They've been covered <laughs> with the little baskets that you see in the back. I just uncovered them for this video. Um, so they look beautiful. I will be uncovering them soon because, like I said, they are outgrowing the little baskets. And then up here is parsley. Parsley. And then this, I can never remember what this is, bee balm. Bee balm. I planted this last year, so it came back nicely. And then over here, I have a zucchini. I have tarragon that goes crazy in my yard. It spreads like crazy. And I have oregano that I just pruned back last weekend and dried. I'm gonna go in and put it in a container today but it's doing great I even gave a piece to one of my friends so she could have some in her yard and here's another collard and there is another basito kale so that is all that is growing in my garden for right now I hope you guys are doing well and I hope that your gardens are off to a great start and I will check back in in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye.